What's up, guys? This is Vapertron. This is Vapertron. Okay. I'm Sean, and this is Trevor. And today we are bringing you another review of an e juice by Alive. Uh, I mentioned in the last video that uh, we have uh, discovered a great deal at Top Shelf Vapor. Uh, buy two juices, get one free. We've taken advantage of that. So, quite a few of our reviews are going to be, for the next little while at least, from Top Shelf Vapor. Uh, frankly, because we've got a lot of it. Uh, we can't pass up a deal like that, <laughs> frankly. So, this one is a live e juice cotton candy fog. And it sounds to me absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if Trevor's going to like it as much as I will. He did, however, already fill my vapor for me. <coughs> Mine currently did. Yeah, unfortunately. It, it'll charge up. Uh, the camera's a little further away, so I can't give you the extreme close-up. Hopefully, you will be able to see this. In the meantime, let's uh, give her a whirl. Uh, by the way, what I meant when I said I'm not sure about Trevor, he tends to go more for fruit and cereal flavors, whereas I tend to go more for fruit and candy flavors. Cotton candy fog, of course, sounds to me like something more that I would enjoy than Trevor. But we'll see. It might surprise us. Hmm. Now I am. I really am getting sort of a more of a syrupy, sweet. You take a good tip off, you get a better smell. No. Oh. Good. Yes, Thank you. Still very much the same. Very sweet. Very syrupy. But then that makes sense because cotton candy itself doesn't really have much of a smell, whereas they really need to have a lot of flavoring in vapor to get any flavor at all, really. Now my nose is a bit stuffed, so my allergies are acting up, but I can smell a little bit of cotton candy sweet. It is definitely very, very sweet, I know that. So, smell, well, cotton candy. in my opinion, is pretty good. It, it's sort of a syrupy smell, which concerns me a little bit regarding the flavor. But uh, as a, the smell itself is concerned, it is quite pleasant. So we'll just lay this over. <coughs> now again, I've got this on my uh, Spire Atlantis, or in my Aspire Atlantis tank with a uh, 0.5 coil. Uh, like in our first video, it's on my Atlantis, oh sorry, Aspire CF sub ohm battery. They've been at 4.2, I believe, yes. And uh, we've checked at that voltage on Trevor's coal fire. That does put us at about 30 watts, which, as I mentioned before, is right around my comfort zone, which is fantastic. I am so glad that Trevor got me this. So, let's see how it tastes. Not really getting much of a flavor at all. And I'm definitely getting the sweetness of the cotton candy. But I'm getting a uh, And that's a new coil, so it's not the coil. I've never had an issue with a, a, fire, a, a fire coil before. I'm definitely getting a very uh, uh, burnt taste to that one. Unless we got a bad coil. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we always put in a new coil when we're testing a new juice. We've done it with the two reviews we did before, and uh, I'm wondering if it might actually be a bad coil. No. You don't think it's a coil? It's a higher PG than 50. Must be. It's really, really big throat hit, like it's burning my throat and I'm not thirsty at all or anything. Mm. 
Anyway, uh, well, it's actually a surprise for me. It's a very, very rare myth for uh, for a live e juice. I have to say, I'm very shocked. Uh, this is the uh, I've tried a large number of their juices. Uh, one I wasn't as fond of. This is the first one I can honestly say I actually wasn't that fond of myself. That said, uh, I should keep in mind, of course, that uh, these things are more a matter of taste, but, uh... Oh, it now? Oh, I think I know what it was. Mm. It really wasn't whipped in, and, and I think we really need to debate for a few minutes first. I'm sure. All the popcorn things. Now I'm getting uh, the idea. Cotton candy fog. I think they're mixed in flavor. They really don't go that well together, to be honest with you. That it's more of a um, kind of like the smell that you'd have around a fair where you'd find cotton candy. Did you go and get a kind of a hint of popcorn off that just now? That's that sort of a. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to identify it. It's, it's sort of a popcorny taste and mixed in with it or something. Maybe they're trying to do that. Or it could be that we just have a bad coil. Uh, coils, like coils, yeah. Juice. I think it's just that it's not really to our taste. Uh, now it is more, like I said, a matter of taste. I would still recommend to anyone, just the fact that we don't like it doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to. Uh, the description that I've given, you know, sort of a very heavy flavor. Uh, it, you can definitely taste the sweetness to it. Uh, it's not really one that we're going to be vaping on a lot, in all honesty with you. Uh, however, hopefully, one of you, based on our description, will be able to say, you know what, that does sound like something I enjoy. I'm getting really into sort of a right, popcorn uh, smell, or taste. If you're into high PG juices, I'm thinking this is a higher PG than 50-50. If you're into higher PG juices, it doesn't say on the bottle. No, um, we'll look that up. I wish I had looked that up for you. We'll put the information on that in the description, but by all means, go ahead. I, uh, if you like the harshness, the harshness like the smoke or something, if you're smoking it, 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 it's good, like if you're getting off smoking, because it really hits your throat, and with yeah. this, it's, per it's, 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 it's really good, yeah. like with any other juice, but this is, mm, no, Just it's, our it's really thing. high PG, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be swapping this out. Yeah. I think I know someone who would enjoy this a great deal, though. I'm going to give this, uh, this just to him. I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't want to say the name on on our uh, video because he may not want us to. But I think I know someone who actually would enjoy this a great deal, and I'm going to be giving this to him. Anyway, if you're watching, expect this coming your way. You know who you are. So, in the meantime, um, I guess this is Vapertron signing off on a rather surprise, big surprise from Live Ages. Have to say. I'm really shocked. I love the vast majority of the products quite amazing. But that's it. Can't get a win every single time. Vapertron signing off.